Hi year three, welcome to your literacy video for Monday the 15th of June. Make sure you've got your literacy pack ready and if you've had a little look through it, you'll see that we are focusing on George's Marvellous Medicine for the next two weeks. Now, most of you should be familiar with this story because we did it in year two, so you should have the main ideas and we'll refresh your memories a little bit as well with a little bit of it. But if you have got this book at home, you might want to spend some time reading through it. You don't have to, but it's not, a, it's not a massive book. It's only a short story. So I bet if you read a few pages each night at bedtime, you'd soon get through it. Okay, but remember that's optional. You don't have to. Okay, so just to refresh your memories then, here's the plot. So George, that's George there, the main character. George's nasty old grandma needs teaching a lesson. George decides the best remedy for her grumpiness is a special homemade medicine. But Grandma gets more than she bargained for. So you'll probably remember at the end of the story when George has given Grandma the medicine, she grows really, really tall, doesn't she? And she bursts through the top of the house. And then Dad, Mr Cranky, gets very excited and starts giving the medicine to the animals and they try to recreate the medicine to make all of their farm animals grow tall. Okay, so today we're going to be looking at adjectives, okay, and we're going to be describing grandma. So we're going to read the first two pages together. Okay, so before we do that, let's just look at the main characters. We know we've got George, so he's named George Cranky. We've got Mr. Killy Cranky, that's George's dad. We've got Mrs. Cranky, George's mum, and we've got Grandma. So today's focus is Grandma. So before we start looking at adjectives, let's read the first two pages together. Okay. So, I'm going shopping in the village, George's mother said to George on Saturday morning. So be a good boy and don't get up to mischief. This was a silly thing to say to a small boy at any time. It immediately made him wonder what sort of mischief he might get up to. And don't forget to give Grandma her medicine at 11 o'clock, the mother said. Then out she went, closing the door behind her. Grandma, who was dozing in her chair by the window, opened one wicked little eye and said, Now you've heard what your mother said, George. Don't forget my medicine. No, Grandma, George said. And just try to behave yourself for once while she's away. Yes, Grandma, George said. George was bored to tears. He didn't have a brother or sister. His father was a farmer and the farm they lived on was miles away from anywhere. So there were never any children to play with. He was tired of staring at pigs and hens and cows and sheep. He was especially tired of having to live in the same house as that grisly old grunion of a grandma. Looking after her all by himself was hardly the most exciting way to spend a Saturday morning. You can make me a nice cup of tea for a start, Grandma said to George. That'll keep you out of mischief for a few minutes. Yes, Grandma, George said. George couldn't help disliking Grandma. She was a selfish, grumpy old woman. She had pale brown teeth and a small puckered up mouth like a dog's bottom. How much sugar in your tea today, Grandma? George asked her. One spoon, she said, and no milk. Most grandmothers are lovely, kind, helpful old ladies, but not this one. She spent all day and every day sitting in her chair by the window, and she was always complaining, grousing, grouching, grumbling, griping about something or other. Never once, even on her best days, had she smiled at George and said, Well, how are you this morning, George? Or, why don't you and I have a game of snakes and ladders? Or, how was school today? She didn't seem to care about other people, only about herself. She was a miserable old grouch. Okay, I'm not going to read any more, but that's just an introduction to Grandma. Okay, so we know what type of pers person she is, and we know that she's not really a very nice grandma. She's miserable, she's grumpy, she's grouchy. Okay, so... Today we're focusing on, on adjectives and we did adjectives last week. Okay, so adjectives are words that describe nouns. So they can come before or after a noun. 
So we know that an adjective is as a describing word. Okay, so on your sheet, so you might have an activity which looks like this. Okay, so you've got a picture of grandma and then you've got some adjectives all around the outside. Now you've got to tick or circle the ones that describe grandma well. Okay, so I've just read a few pages so that we've got a bit of an idea of what she's like. So I've got the word old. Okay, well, she's grandma, she's definitely old. Okay, not that all grandmas are old, but we know this one is, she's got grey hair. Okay, jolly. Now jolly, if you're jolly, you're happy, you're smiley. She's not jolly, so I'm not going to take that one. Nasty. Yeah, we know she's a nasty grandma. Kind. No, that's the opposite, isn't it? She's not very kind. And grey. I think grey would describe her hair. So yeah, there we go. So that might be one of your activities. Some of you, though, have just got the picture where you can think of your own adjectives. Just make the page bigger. Okay, so, oh, I've made it too big now. Scroll back up. So we're going to think of some adjectives to describe grandma. There we are. Okay, so we know she's old, nasty and grey. So let's think of some other ones. So uh, I think she's mean. Okay, she's vile. So I'm thinking of synonyms. Okay, so other words that mean the same. Mean, vile, nasty. She's rude. She doesn't use her manners much. She's rude. Okay, you might look at certain body parts and describe them. So looking at her nose, she's got a, a bent or crooked nose. Okay. She's quite thin, isn't she? If you look, she's got quite thin arms and thin fingers. So I'm going to put thin. Okay. So that's what you'll do. You'll write lots of adjectives around the picture to describe grandma. So you can think about what she looks like, but you can also think about her personality and the way she acts as well. Okay. So you might have an activity that which looks like this. It says, read the sentences below and circle the adjectives, so the describing words. Okay, so grandma has stained brown teeth as though she'd never ever brushed them. Okay, so I know that adjectives describe a noun. Okay, so let's have a look. Well, I've got a noun here, teeth. So grandma has stained brown teeth. So the words stained and brown are describing her teeth. So they are adjectives with describing words. As though she'd never ever brushed them. Let's get the next one. On her purple dress, Grandma had large, smelly tea stains. Okay, so I need to remember, adjectives describe a noun. Okay, and I know a noun is an object, a person, or a place. So let's have a look. On her purple dress, ooh, dress is a noun. It's the name of a piece of clothing. Oh, and they've described it as purple. Okay, so there's an adjective. Grandma had large, smelly tea stains. Oh, large and smelly. So it's describing the size and it's saying the smelly. So describing words. Okay. And then you might have an activity like this. And it says, write a sentence to describe the nouns pictured below. Okay, so the noun, we've got grandma's nose. Okay. And it says, I wonder how many adjectives you can use in each sentence. Now, we know sentence types of adjectives. We've got a 2A, there to remind us, which has two adjectives in. We also know how to write list sentences, and we know that's three or more adjectives. Okay, you could maybe even include a simile if you wanted to as well. So you're writing sentences about the picture. So we're gonna write one about grandma's nose. Okay, so, I'm going to say grandma has a, so let 
you look at it, oh, I know it's quite, it's quite a big nose, it's long, it's pointy, it's crooked. So grandma has a long, pointy, Crooked nose. Full stop. So I've got my capital letter. Grandma has a long comma because I'm writing a list. Pointy and crooked nose. So I've got three adjectives there. Long, pointy and crooked to describe my noun, which is grandma's nose. I've included a list sentence. Okay, so have a go and I'm sure you'll do great.